Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make the perfect crosshair in CSGO. First I want to make it clear that crosshairs are something that is individual and the perfect crosshair for you might be different from what it is for me and what it is for other people. So I'm going to tell you how to make the perfect crosshair for you. So let's start with what crosshairs you should avoid and what things you wouldn't like to have in your crosshair. We can start with something like this, which is basically, I know this uh, crosshair that is just kind of a joke, but anyway, we can go over what the problem is with it. It's too big and it's too thick as well, because when you put it like this on a person, you see very little of the person and you also, like, it hides a lot of the things on your screen. So you can see very well when you have this crosshair, and it's also difficult to hit. Uh, something that you would like to avoid is also something like this. When you move around, the crosshair expands. This is just way too much going on, and also when you shoot, it expands. So it's kind of distracting, at least to me. And the expanding when moving is pretty bad. It distracts you a lot. Something like this, a square crosshair, it makes it a bit difficult to uh, predict where your shots will go because the point of a crosshair is to mark the center of your screen, and here the center is not marked at all. You also wouldn't like to have something like this, which is just way too big and you don't know where the center of your screen is. It's very hard to see where your bullets will go. It's just too difficult. So these are things that you wouldn't like to use. And also, before trying anything on this map, you have to go into your settings, go on game, go on crosshair, and on share or import, you want to have your crosshair. So if you have your crosshair here, you have to copy the code, make sure it's copied, and then after this, you can try whatever you want, and if you don't like anything from what you tried, you can just go back to your crosshair. So now let's get into what crosshairs you can use. There's one crosshair here, which is a dot. You can use a dot, it's not that bad. For me personally, it's not very comfortable, and I think spraying might be difficult with a dot, but a lot of people use it, and there are some pro players who also use it, and it's not a bad crosshair, as long as you personally are comfortable with this. But what I would recommend doing, if you want to find the perfect crosshair for you, is first checking most of these crosshairs, seeing what professional players use, and seeing what exactly you like, and what kind of style you want to go with. And once you try out these crosshairs, and you see something that you like, you can either keep it, or you can change it a bit. So, let's say, I like this crosshair. I like it, but I feel like it would be better if it's a bit thinner, and if it's a bit uh, longer in size. So, if I want to do that, I can come here, and I can show the size, and then I can increase or decrease the size. I can also do the same thing with the thickness, I can change it as much as I want and just make sure to make it comfortable for you. You don't have to have exactly what other people have, but don't make it something like this where the gap is too big and when you are far away you are not sure exactly where your bullet will go. So you can make the gap smaller, you can make the size smaller, you can increase the thickness and you can make whatever crosshair you like. You can also change the color, and I would recommend mostly to stick to either green or to light blue. These two crosshairs, these two crosshair colors, are objectively the best because you can see them on almost any map in almost any position. This light green, light blue crosshair, you can. Maybe sometimes lose in the sky, if the sky is in that color, 
as an example on Mirage I think it's a very similar color to that so you can lose it in the sky and if you use the green cross here maybe you can lose it on Ancient or something like this but those are rare cases where you are not going to see a cross here my cross here is with this code and I think there is also cross here like this on this map my cross here is white and I like my cross here but sometimes if you have a white cross here you can lose it if you look there my cross here completely blends into this box and I cannot see it at all this can happen also on nuke with trying some lineups when you have to line up on top of the roof you can very easily lose your cross here so white is not the best color but I personally like this cross here so I'll stick with it for now but in general I would recommend green and light blue and of course if you like some different color you can try but be careful with different colors because some of those you can easily lose on some places black can be lost very easily red can be lost on some places it can be lost on mirage as, as an example it can be lost on different places you can lose it maybe even if you aim towards a motor or something like this so stick to these two colors they're probably going to be the best and then you can also add a dot you can remove the dot you can change the styles but as I said I don't like when it moves when you when the crosshair expands when you move or when you shoot so I would recommend style 4 which is just a static crosshair no matter what you do the crosshair is going to stay the same you can experiment with the styles you can try different things but I would recommend style 4 and I would recommend to not get a very big gap so you can see exactly where the bullets will go and not very big size because you don't want the crosshair to cover up a lot of your screen T-shape maybe you will like it but most likely it's not going to be that good and yeah you can just go into this map you can experiment with different things you can try different crosshairs find the crosshair that you like and then if you want to adjust it you can adjust it a little bit and make it better so you like it as much as possible so this video helped you if it helped you make your perfect crosshair i would appreciate if you can leave a like and if you can subscribe to my channel to not miss out on any upcoming content see you next time thank you for watching